Hello my soccer universe, crazy dude with the iron is back, yeah, I wanna make this video now as kind of an addendum to my previous and most popular video of them all, all the videos that I've produced, the one that to this day keeps popping up as uh, the one that is most watched every month is the one where I ironed on the logos, evened out the sponsors and you know, I had this Austria shirt where the Pumas were coming off, they are still coming off and I kind of felt a little bit better, but well, well it really worked well for many shirts, especially the Real Madrid shirt is works well, uh, I have to say the Maldini, the black one did not work out that well because that came off almost immediately again so there are a few that are not so uh, doing well however most of them it worked well uh, it also I came to a conclusion some, some of them are just museum pieces and yeah so be them and they're hanging right here ish now why this video well uh, you see already this uh, yeah almost fat fatal patient here this Oster shirt the puma came off this was while I was rehanging them in the video and here's the sad piece this puma completely off and now I said I'm gonna try now for one last time to fix this one however I'm gonna use the com a comment that came recently from Idris the guy who sent me the car shirt still cannot believe that a, he did it and how thankful I am and how far this channel has come. He said actually since this is a thick logo you have to iron it inside out. So this is what I'm gonna do now and this makes a whole lot of sense. So what I have here in my little studio office whatever I have here however you want to call it I actually should give you once the tour to really see how tiny this space actually is. I mean I Putting this in here, there's not a lot of real estate left to work with. So what I'm gonna do with is with all this is I'm gonna take this shirt and the special thing about this shirt is that I said this is not the last time that I'm gonna try to fix this shirt. I know that the front number on 77 is coming off. It's not the original printing style because back then I was living in America. I ordered this on worldsoccershop.com for the euros because I could that I couldn't get the printing uh, in Europe so I decided okay I'm gonna do it uh, here and even if it's not the ori original printing and back then I was very much into putting my own name on there stupid as I was because now I'm a little bit unhappy about this so um, if this survives the operation I'm actually gonna do a next video pro pro probably and I don't know when uh, where I will try to take this number no numbers off on the back 77 and my name that is actually not in too bad of a condition but the front number but um, to go now where I wanted to go with this one I saw a player issue version for an under 21 uh, player if, of exactly this shirt which would be a perfect replacement so if this operation doesn't work out probably will just order that one uh, the special thing about this shirt is that it has even in the replica version this dual layered material so there is an under layer so I can put in my hand here um, which on where the Puma logos here probably will not make much of a difference if this gets glued on uh, but yeah would not be a super desired outcome or maybe you know it doesn't probably make a difference so I'm turning this around and now I'm do first the Puma that did not come off which is here now the problem that I see with this is that it will be really hard to place the Puma on the other way around but now let's first things first let's dress the whole thing and let's try it with that logo first now since this is on the sleeve successfully removed the second Puma I think <laughs> I'm gonna name this video death of a football shirt <laughs> Okay, oh la 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 la. So the second Puma came successfully off. What shall I do now? Placing this one will be hard. I have the feeling. Placing this one will be hard. Maybe 
maybe. I know that for the ultimate grip, you have to do the other way around. So you see me thinking here. But what, what I want to do now is, I mean, I could take now a glue and kind of glue it on somehow, but I think that will not work as well. Maybe let lab, let me do it first that I do it the wrong way to maybe get it on because I can place it better with some heat and then we'll turn it around to make the ultimate fit. So this turned out to be a much more complicated video than I was envisioning it, but it also gives me the chance to talk about other things too. Doing this now uh, live on camera. It will not be, it's not a live video, but it's as good as live in many ways. So I want to have that the logo here is properly placed. And then how do then I place the Puma on it? This was the one. For all one. Now the other, the most comments I get on the original video is what kind of paper? I said I'm using uh, parchment paper, baking uh, paper. It is paper that you use for uh, when you want to bake cookies, which you can get at any grocery store. However, I'm using now here. If you buy soccer shirts um, new, you very often get them wrapped in all kinds of paper. That paper you keep because it's also heat resistant paper because that's exactly the one that is used for um, heat pressing uh, the numbers and so on on and that's, and that's exactly actually what I should have. I should have a heat press to work. Okay, paper is put over. Maybe let me see if I can move the ironing board a little bit over because I think the cable will get too short. Oh, no, I think I should be fine here. And now. Iron, I put it on the highest uh, that will still be safe temperature. I think it's still synthetic materials, but it's not. Uh, I have it here. Yes. It's maybe a little bit higher than it should be, but you know, death of a football shirt. And let's press here on. And the reason why I didn't press last time, because the one time that I tried to, the first time I tried this, this was in 2012. I wanted to iron on the Scudetto on my newly acquired Milan shirts and I pressed and then I had the iron mark on there. Yeah, was not my favorite thing, but yeah, so I'm pressing now loads of heat and let's see the result. I mean, the paper usually then gets stuck on this and it does, so you have to remove this carefully. That actually doesn't do. Now, let me see, this is still hot, but it is on. And now comes the hard part, but I think what I will do now is I will just take it like this. Dress it, but I was so non-successful now uh, this time that I will now just turn it around here. I will take again the paper. And now do it on the other side, full area on. And you know, it's not only the tip, but you really want to get the... You know, I'm also learning. This is something that I'm doing for the first time. And um, I have this interest in uh, fixing my shirts if I get the time. I would totally love to do that. So the idea you want to have is there is some glue on there that you actually want to um, kind of with the heat soften again so that it can glue back on. This is the weird thing with plastic, because plastic, of course, melts under heat, which is why you shouldn't wash your jerseys super, super, super hot, and also don't put them in the dryer. I have a video about that too, which is my method of washing things, uh, which is very, very careful, because I have lost some prints as of late. So, I actually have a plan of buying myself a heat press at some point, I just, there is not much space here, but I would love to do this. Now, the interesting part here is that I can see already the Puma coming through here, so that actually makes it look kind of promising. Do you see? You can see a little bit the Puma logo. The sirens are going off. It is noon. Saturday noon, they are testing the sirens in Austria. 
Uh, no, this did not work super well. This did not work well at all. I gotta say, the only thing I managed is to get the mark uh, deeper in, but I didn't. But it doesn't want to stick. Uh, I am not happy at all. Now, what shall I do? What shall I do? I probably have to heat press this more. So, I'm gonna try this one more time. But this just does not wanna stick. I'll be seriously discouraged. The one thing I don't, I mean, one could use probably potentially super glue, but I know super glue when you wash uh, sometimes gets easily off. And second of all, I don't want to get stuck with, with my fingers. I mean, I use super glue for a whole lot of things. So, I'm waiting for the comment section on this one. Because probably I'm doing something completely wrong here. Maybe I just should spend the money to get a heat press. So, I again managed to get a Puma stain here. But it really doesn't want to. It really, really doesn't want to stay on. Let me try something because now, I, for me, the, the shirt is dead. I want to try one last thing. And please don't try this with your priced shirt at home. It's just that this shirt is dead. I'm going to now use the heat directly, but I'm going to decrease a little bit the heat. I'm going to take the iron now directly onto the shirt. This is my last ditch effort here to salvage this shirt, but probably death of a football shirt. You see it live on TV. So the problem why I really want to say this is because I already said I don't have too much budget for this year left and I want to get a Real Sociedad shirt, so uh, spending the 30 euros for that other shirt, you know. I really, really want to prove to myself and my family that I can stay within the allotted budget. And I have already made peace that there will not be many acquisitions anymore. But maybe this is one that needs to be made. Well, things have cooled off, so maybe it's time now to see how this worked very very careful so I have to work on my patience maybe maybe not I mean it seems to stick at the moment it actually does seem to stick so what I'm gonna do now is let's remove the paper from the inside and I'm not gonna carefully turn this around inside again uh, for the simple reason that I probably will just do this now oh, yeah. I'm missing here for the very very simple reason that I don't want to dress it here onto the um, ironing board but I want to do it flat here because I feel I have a much better surface to work with but uh, if I don't put the paper in I might glue the back side of the shirt to the front which is something I definitely want to avoid so let's could do it from the color but let's do it a complicated way because I think there is maybe a better chance for this to work Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I think I've placed this well. As I said, keep the paper when you buy shirts. Now, there are already a few Puma logos on here, but not everywhere. And now, keeping fingers crossed, this is now the last gasp.
Uh, keeping the heat uh, fully on here because I really want to press down on this. One more time. The other thing that is a little bit uh, off is that the seams are. This is such a small area where it's really hard with the seams to really put probably the right pressure. Okay, I let it cool down one more time and then I'll be back and let's judge the final result. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Moment of truth. Let's take this carefully off. So, let's carefully, really, really carefully remove the paper here. Maybe we're having some success and let's even more carefully turn this shirt around. I probably will have to wait a little. I mean, the body sticks, but the edges, to be honest, are not so perfect. And yeah, let's just. This is not gonna hold. Hold it, just hold now temporarily and then it will probably not do much. Well, I think I'll end the video here. This is just a semi success or barely any success. I think this is more or less the end of this shirt in my collection it has served me well uh, going to games i've been wearing this a whole lot while i was living in america so and that's the reason why it's all so beaten up but yeah i have very very faint hope that this will ever ever work again or that i will ever wear this again it's just uh this is what happens when you just don't know how to take care of your shirts or when you're just too careless in taking care of them so that's and that's entirely my fault so yep sad 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 day in that sense on the other side maybe you guys have some uh comments or tips as you can see i am not giving i'm just not giving up but i probably need to talk to my wife about buying the replacement shirt i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that i'm going to wish you a wonderful day